Kelly Lind, the HR and insurance manager here at BMAC. And today I want to show you very quickly how you can log on to our new payroll system, paycom.com, and change your username and password. So you'll get an email with the current username and password. And if you're using a tablet or a desktop, the screen will look like this. It'll look slightly different if you're on your smartphone. But once you log on under employee here, you're going to see the same picture that you would see on your smartphone. So you will log on using the, the username, the first is zero, and then it's probably either GJ or CF, and then a series of numbers after that, and that's your username. Password is going to be another series of uh, numbers and letters that the computer sends you, and then the last four digits of your SOCH. You'll log on, and then it immediately asks you to change the password. So you'll type in the current password, the one that was sent in the email, and then you will change it to something else. And you can see the restrictions on the password underneath. So change password successful, and then you must register. So there's security questions. You're going to pick five security questions. Quickly enter your answers, but you're going to want to pick answers that you would definitely remember. And I never choose to capitalize because that way I know that I always will have it in the lower case. And so I never have to worry about whether there's a question that I know or don't know. So um, you pick that and you go to the next step. I enable it, you say OK, and then you're going to continue. And this is what the home page looks like. Our second video will include more of what the home page looks like. But for right now, I'm going to focus on changing your username, something other than that combination of letters and numbers. So you're going to come to my information here on the left, change password to username. You've already changed your password, so you won't worry about that, but you'll come to change username, and it has to be an email address. So I am going to put in the username wilson at bmac.com.